The face transplant began with procurement of the donor facial tissue, including the midface, mandible, associated teeth, and the overlying soft tissues. The incision extended from the lateral face inferiorly and was carried out anteriorly below the eyelids, above the nose, and around the neck to the contralateral face. The zygomatic, buccal, and mandibular branches of the facial nerve were identified and divided. Adequate exposure was performed to allow completion of the skeletal osteotomies. Custom designed 3D printed skeletal cutting guides were fixated into position based on the preoperative surgical plan. Following completion of the zygomatic, nasal frontal, and bilateral mandibular osteotomies, the neck vessels, including the internal jugular veins, external jugular veins, anterior jugular veins, internal carotid arteries, and external carotid arteries were identified and circumferentially dissected. Final liberation of the donor facial allograft was performed following ligation and division of the major vascular pedicles perfusing the allograft. Concurrently, the recipient's surgical procedure progressed to create a defect for precise adaptation of the donor facial allograft. Comparable incisions were performed in the recipient. This allowed the removal of all external scar tissue throughout the face and neck. All pre-existing hardware was removed prior to face transplantation. And the orbital floors were reconstructed bilaterally using prefabricated titanium mesh. Recipient craniofacial scanning and registration were performed using intraoperative surgical navigation to allow accurate facial allograft inset. Similar to the donor procedure, prefabricated 3D printed cutting guides were fixed into position based on the preoperative surgical plan. This allowed completion of the right zygomatic, nasal frontal, left zygomatic, and bilateral mandibular osteotomies. The resultant recipient facial defect was complementary to the procured donor facial allograft. This allowed precise inset of the donor skeletal segments and overlying soft tissues, as well as coaptations of facial nerve branches and vascular anastomoses. Accurate mid-face skeletal alignment was ensured. In addition to optimal mandibular contour, rigid fixation of the mid-face was performed using titanium plates, and bicortical lag screws were used for mandibular fixation. The remainder of the facial allograft was then tailored to resurface the entire recipient defect and achieve final soft tissue inset.